Alright, what's poppin' YouTube? Today we got Summer's Mental Health and Disturbing Pictures by Bobby Lamb, aka Jace Tribute. Let's talk about Summer's first of all while we wait everyone. Come on, let's talk everyone. then! Hey, if y'all ain't yet, man, I know it's like like five seconds to the video, but make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe, man, because I know you're gonna like the video, man, whether you think you are or not. Like, you're gonna have to like the video, bro, because if you don't like the video, bro, me and you gonna have problems. Wait, matter of fact, if you don't like the video, I think you're just hating on me. Uh, it's not looking good. I hit him up, though. I DM'd him, just being like, yo, uh, if you ever need to get something off your chest, let me know. Like, I'm there. Um, Real one. And Real one. obviously, he probably got better friends than me. Like, I know I, I, I be trolling him sometimes or whatnot, but it's never that serious. Yeah. Uh, so I said, like, I know you got better friends than me, but I'm still here. We care about you, bro. Like, I, all the people in this space, the rappers and whatnot, of course, like, there's little beefs and whatever. I, I told y'all, I don't hate anybody. Um, I, I, you know, we all, like, brothers in this. So, it's not fun to see what's going on with uh, what Summers posted, that pretty disturbing picture of, like, hit cuts on his arm. I'm not going to show it, oh, that's but crazy. if you don't know, Ooh. like, that's... I, I don't didn't know. even see that. From my... Hey, man. If y'all got mental issues, bro, tap in with me, bro. My Instagram is WLY Precise, bro. If y'all ever going through shit, just tap in with me, man. Especially right now while I'm early, like while I'm at the start. So, like, I could tap in with y'all while it's early, you feel me? Experience. Not that I've done it. But, like, from people I know who've done it, it's like they want to feel some sort of... just. They want to feel something but they can't so that's that's why they do it and it like feels good just to feel something now obviously there's probably other reasons why people do it um crazy though it can literally kill you depending on how you you uh, cut it if I'm it cuts it. like a a main artery or i don't even know but <laughs> now nah, speaking of cutting bro I used to have a homegirl in my class in the eighth grade, bro. I ain't gonna say her name, just just based off like you feel me. I ain't, I don't want that come back to her. You know? But bro, she was cutting in class right next to me, bro. She was bleeding so much, bro. And then she gonna tell the teacher like, "Can I go use the restroom?" Teacher, of course, teacher, she gonna say yeah for sure. But like, bro, the way she was bleeding, bro, that shit was scary, bro. She did it right next to me in class, like she was doing it in class, bro. Like I looked to my right, bro, seen her with the razor, and she was. Bro, I was so scared, bro. No cat, that shit had me spooked, bro. That's a Bailey Middle School, by the way. Ugh, it still creeps me out, man. But yeah, Jace dropped a song. I think everybody's supporting Summers right now with that. Like, I know some people are joking and whatnot about, you know, he's being like a teenage girl and blah, blah, blah. But it's like, okay, sure, get your jokes off. But this is actually serious. What what if he was to actually do something? Like, you wouldn't be laughing anymore. Like, Facts. mental health is, is not something to joke around with. People... Facts. But what a lot of people don't realize... Is nah, I ain't gonna lie. Mental health is something I joke around with all the time. But it's like... It's not funny. <laughs> is uh actually I think they do know this, but men have a higher deletion rate of themselves, self deletion, than women. Why? Because we can't like express ourselves or uh, feel pain publicly without looking like a hoe. You know? Yeah. And, facts. and honestly, I'm not saying that you should always express your feelings because I do think that there is power in being like a man and like just not letting things get to you facts man my nigga bobby Lance speaking facts like man. you are supposed to be like some things you just don't allow to get to you some things you some things is gonna get to you regardless but you're not supposed to allow everything to get to you bro and though if you do bro in the feet if you feel like it's female like to be emotional it is female like if you putting too much emotions behind it but like if you emotional about some shit like sometimes that's not even it's like you feel me? How I put it? How do I put it? I'm gonna I'm put it to y'all later. Fuck it. In, in at least, uh, you know, traditional gender roles, you are supposed to be like the more strong one and less emotional. I yeah, that's that. what he said. What he said. You're supposed to be more. You're supposed to be. And 
I feel like you're supposed to be less emotional and be able to understand and take things. But it's nothing wrong with being emotional. That's really what I'm trying to say. It's nothing wrong with being emotional. Unless you like being emotional towards like petty shit, like dumb shit. Like like I took ice cream. Like I ate I like it was a little bit of ice cream left inside the container, bro. I ate the ice cream. Now you tripping on me, you on my face, you wanna be my eye, cause I ate the, the last of the ice cream. Like I like to be more stoic, more logical. It definitely helps you with your decisions more. But yeah, unfortunately, that's that's where we are right now. Now, I was thinking maybe with why he was doing that was because of the reception of his album or that's because crazy. he didn't go number one or whatever. Although that was going to be a hard feat no matter. That's not a reason to cut. If that is the reason you couldn't, don't let that be the reason you cut, bro. Anything tapping with me, you feel me? Like, that's crazy. Or what? Like, to go number one, it, even on Apple Music, because that's, you know, similar to, it's, it's not quite Billboard, but Apple Music and Spotify is an indicator of that. <clears throat> but, uh, also didn't let like, his mom pass away. And then also, uh, that one guy who started Slay World with them, what's his name? Wiley. Uh... Does anybody know his name? He was in the intro of Jace's song that he dropped as a tribute to Summers. Uh, I respect what Jace did, actually. That was really cool of him being like, yo, I don't care. Whatever beef we had uh, for the, the internet say, this this used to be my bro. Hope you see the best. Let's see. Dead or alive, I'm gonna lo have love for you. Took me out the hood. Let's drop the let's watch the song or listen to the song. Yeah, it's pretty good too. I listened to a little bit of it. Um, it was more like play that beat. Come on, a fam. sample from again Summers talking about how fake the industry is. I feel like Summers just entered the industry though, so maybe I, I don't know. Hell no, Bubble. I disagree with that. Summers has been around. I've been hearing the nigga name for four years, bro. I didn't listen to this nigga music till this year, bro. Oh, I'm sorry, Summers, bro. Now that I listen to your shit. That shit is hard, gay. I ain't gonna lie. That shit is hard. Like, I ain't know I was gonna like your music that much, fam. Now that I finally listened to it, bro. That shit is smooth, though. No cap. It probably is weird being super famous. I mean, I don't think, like, Summer's a celebrity. But when you get to become a rapper, uh, you know, like, you can't trust anybody. People are fake as hell to you. Like, uh. everybody's trying to... Like, come up. I'm not everybody's even, trying to come up. Like, Summer's is... And them are... I wouldn't even say it's being fake. Uh, nah, it, it is being fake. Cause like, if you nigga was down low tier, niggas not really gonna mess with you. But when you start getting up in the game, niggas start fucking with you and shit. On a whole nother level than me, right? And I still get pissed off at people like being weird towards me. So I couldn't even imagine being like a Summers or a Jace or even like a Uzi, bro. I feel like at Uzi's level, you can't even you just gotta like not talk to regular people you, you gotta scope them out you gotta get that's why drake has girls come in they sign ndas and whatnot what did summers do he's uh they sign an ndas because they're getting smacked down by the top exec like one of the top rappers you feel me it's smart because like can't no allegations be brought up against you bro if she signed that paper and you know females be lying nowadays and like you you will end up in a R word case, bro, and a bitch would be lying. Like and that's just disgusting for a female to lie on both ends, bro. Cause you know the ones that don't lie, I feel bad for them because they not getting like the justice they deserve, you feel me? But like also He's going through it mentally. He was cutting his wrists. Um But yeah, so it was either his mom passing away, Brenda allegedly or like the reception bro it's not his album bro come on be realistic bro y'all nigga going through it he lost his mom that makes sense bro that make a whole lot of sense type shit i mean of his album in that a lot of people thought fallen raven was better than this project which i actually been going back to this current project I'm telling you, bro, he's the underground Drake. Y'all just don't realize. But I think that so many people from just I even meet a couple people that that watch the videos and like streams and they only like the, the hype summers and whatnot. And I'm like, well, that's not uh, the, he dropped an album for a reason. It's not supposed to be 
like just hype songs over and over it's not just a compilation of singles i think that the underground has gotten too used to that and i feel like that sucks like albums just full of a compilation of songs that are hype is is trash like you need more diversity and complexity as summers would say um brenda is his grandma okay there you go his grandma died so r.i.p to brenda yeah that's impactful that was suck anyway let's check out this how i can't even spell anymore this uh jason let me check it he might have even taken it down and that was fast too yeah he always surprised me with how fast he drops music he can just make a song real quick called bros fallout what the internet say this used to be my nigga i hope you see the best and he also says dead or alive i'm gonna love you forever he took me out the hood who was that hey go go I probably won't even drop this shit. No things don't be what it seems sometimes. I'm still holding on, hold on. Still on, Be crazy. Hey, to be awesome, y'all. That shit crazy. I know we go ahead and raise it if it's dropped off. I thought Summers was in the intro, but I guess it was somebody else. How the time passed. We were from kicking it. Times got bad. I'm in the murder, nigga. Think about the past. She get hard, nigga, but you been a man. Man with the plan. Man with a man with a weed. Man with the plan. Man with the plan. Okay, About to drop now. You did it. You finally made you a motherfucking million. We used to change color of soda, nigga, like a million. Okay. Used to be so many cars, nigga, with whip in. Used to be so many bras, nigga, who bitch is this? We to too many flowers, but we still kept the kicky. That shit was deeper than rap, ain't me to cut the kicky. Yeah. We used to run this shit with no fucks to give. If it's smoke, then fuck you. Just playing, I love you. You was my brother, uh, from another mother. Uh, came from the gutter. Uh, I done met your fam, and I met your mother. Uh, you finally motherfucking did it. You finally got a milli, nigga. Keep your head up, you finna win, you finna. You gotta do it for Brenda, nigga. It was barely a song crazy. though, you know. It was like it was two more minutes. like I mean, you feel me? Jace was explaining his feelings, man. Man, I wonder if like they ever forgive Jace, cause like them and Jace was hard. Like even Can Can, Jace, all of them niggas. I don't know why. Like I would say never be like the niggas. Them niggas is all hard. Eat all of them. I hate that. Like rap is full of beef, cause like imagine if each artist could work with each artist. Imagine how many fucking hit songs and how much crazy songs and how much viral songs and like the best songs we have. Like we have so much good shit, bro, out here. So much good music, bro. <laughs> We'd be out here turn lit, man. Shit ass bro, bro. This half of it was like intro slash build up, and there was kind of just a couple couple rhymes, probably like sixteen bars total. But still, like beautiful, it's reminiscent of the days when they were still friends. Summers gave Jace his first like big feature, I think, on uh, what, what is it, like Going Trees or some. Uh, that the title's similar to that. Pretty good song. Um, so these rappers just sue. Uh, well, yeah, I guess I guess emo rap's coming back literally. Yeah, uh, yeah. Nah, I mean. Look, this just proves that money really isn't all that. Like once you get it, I heard this analogy today. It was like when you when you when you can't breathe, like you're underwater. All you want is air. Exactly. Once you get air, it's like regular, you're not thinking about it. You don't care no more. It's like when you get sick, nigga, you, your nose start running and shit, nigga. You can't breathe no more. 
Nigga be like, I just want to breathe again. I didn't want to breathe again. Nigga got... You, too, you got your blessings took from you, you feel like. That's how it feel. At all. You're thinking about other desires and whatnot. So, right. When you're broke, all you... Come on, fam. Come on, fam. I'm trying to... I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to see all this. I'm not trying to see all this. You can think about is money. Like, that's the end all. Be all. You're going to make money and then you'll finally be happy. But once you get that, that's where all these celebrities, like, turn to drugs and, like, even delete themselves because... You know, it, it didn't end up making them happy. Personally, I like making money. So, you know, I, I don't know. I was a finance major in college. Makes sense. I, I think that I like money. Hey, Baba Land, fuck all the bullshit, bro. I'm finna put all this shit to the side. Because if you watching this, bro, let me know, bro. Like, put me on game, bro. Like, talk to me. Hit me up, bro. Call my phone, whatever, bro. Hit me up. Tap in with me. And you know, I'm trying to learn the financial shit, too, man. I'm trying to find people who get in the circle, man. That's doing the same way my man, bro. Making money, I wouldn't consider myself rich, but I make decent amount. So, mate, we'll see. When your boy gets a couple M's in the bank account, I'll let y'all know if uh, if it makes me happy. But I, I personally don't think like I always hit milestones of money too, and then once I hit it, it's like I don't even feel it because I I already knew I was gonna get there, right. you know. So it's on to the next goal. So I, similar to that, you know, again, Summers might have made a bunch of money. He made the M's, like Jay said, from his 10K projects deal that he's been working for forever since like, what, 2017, 18? And now what? He bought the house. He bought the Maybach. What else is there to do? I guess he can like work with other artists and whatnot. Um, but man, I think that also... The drugs has to has a role in it like if these if these artists got off the drugs they wouldn't have such low lows like they're they're probably messed up all day you know i'm going man they are man does it do it to you fam i mean how you ass emotional nigga like too far emotional man so of course they're don't gonna do, get to don't do drugs kids don't do drugs pressed no make, way make sure y'all like comment and subscribe man Y'all fuck with the video so far. Hey, Summers is making millions yet? Man, I heard he got M's with the the 10K Projects deal. That's dope. Because, remember, these artists, like, the reason they take the deal is to get the money up front so they could utilize that money to promote themselves and use the infrastructure and resources of the label. So, he might not have ne necessarily, like, made a million dollars with his streams yet, but like that's labels give you that advance because they're planning like 30 years out it's basically like a mortgage they want to profit just in the long run and then hopefully you turn into a star where they make like triple 10x 100x off of what they gave you from the advance because they own your masters we talked about in this this in the the juice world video now nah, stop the cap when 6ix9ine got signed to 10k projects he signed for 30k sure but 6 9 signed to 10k off of trippy red's word he wasn't big yet summers has been building up his organic fan base up until recently the more the more of a fan base and leverage you have the more money you can get from the label like like x he held off from signing he was independent until he went with empire i think after he already blew up and then he could write his own check like three mil or whatever it was most but if you sign too early which happens with most artists like that's when you get like the messed up deals like 30k 10k or like nothing i think uh five year foreign got like five bands something like that's that that's crazy oh that's ass oh man make sure y'all like comment and subscribe man it's wly precise aka precise reacts man we out